It is Thursday the 9th and my battery is low so I only have time for a quick check-in. I'll have to do another video tomorrow morning which is fine. I'm just changing my tray for the first time and the first thing I want to say is definitely this thing that I bought online is way better than way better than anything I had for free from the dentist. It's just this little thing. It has like a hook on the end and it's very thin compared to the freebie but it also has this little rubbery thing that slides up so you slide it up and you can use that to bite and get your trays in position. So I have new tray number two. I never open anything. Just as a comparison, my first tray and my current one, there's a very, you, I know you can't see this on camera because it's super subtle. This first ones were just starting to get really slightly discolored, I think. I almost feel like I'm imagining it. I don't know. I might be imagining it now that I'm looking at it in here. But I didn't use the crystals or anything. So when you put them in, I don't know. It's pretty easy. They say most people use a mirror, but... There's the first one in, and oh. ah. okay. Definitely going to be an adjustment with these. I can tell that was much harder to put in than the first one had gotten by the end of this two-week period. So now I just take this. It was already in there, but sometimes it pops a little. So yeah, this is my second tray going in, and tomorrow I will record a little bit more thoughts about how everything is going. It's going okay, but I'm expecting my mouth is going to be a little sore when I wake up. We'll see how it goes. It's now Friday the next morning and I'm gonna just go over all the random things that I noted down to talk about because I do think the first few days of using Invisalign may be like hard enough that you start wondering what the heck am I doing? <laughs> At least that's how I was feeling but it definitely got better so I want to just say that outright. First few days were the hardest and that was for a couple of reasons. First I think it, it's just probably to be expected that your mouth is going to take some time to get used to having something in it all the time. So I was having like this part of my lip on the inside was sore for the first maybe two days that I wore it continuously. I had a day where the back side of my tongue was kind of sore as though it had been like touching the plastic edge but all of those things have now kind of resolved and it was really worse in the first few days so again if you like me hit like day three and you're like oh my god I just signed up for months of this and you start being like oh, oh no what have I done it I think you'll probably be okay. Just give it a little more time. The first day that I got them, it was the afternoon that I put them in. And then the next day we actually had a Halloween event we were going to. So I wore them most of that night, but I definitely had them out while we were eating for like a longer period of time than usual. I don't go out to eat all that often these days. I also don't usually go out to eat dressed up as a Ghostbuster wearing a proton pack, which makes it kind of hard to navigate. And <laughs> I didn't really want to be like going in and out of the bathroom constantly. So yeah, I also was feeling very paranoid about like having a drink with the liners in, although I think it's probably debatable if it's better to have them out and drink something that takes you maybe like 30 minutes to sip on versus having the liners in for that 30 minutes and then having like, I don't know. I only wore them with something to drink that wasn't water one time. And that was just because I had been really slow getting around that morning and it took me a while to eat my breakfast. I had already used up more of my non-wear time for the day than I intended to. I had an iced coffee and just kind of sipped it through a straw and honestly it didn't really cause any problems. I do think that if you did that regularly, even if you are very good about brushing your teeth afterwards, which you would definitely want to be, your liners will probably start getting stained. So something to keep in mind. But if you can't live without an afternoon coffee and you don't want to have 
your non-wear time go up really high, probably you could make it work, but you'd have to be willing to clean really well afterwards, I guess. So I started using the Invisalign app to keep track of my wear time, which I think is probably good. I thought it would be kind of silly and I was like, I'm not gonna do that. But then I realized that like, especially in the morning when I first get up and I'm having whatever I'm having for breakfast with coffee, I don't really, like I'm not the type of person who can eat really quickly. So it's easy for me to accidentally let more time pass in the morning, especially than I meant to. And then all of a sudden, by the time I'm eating dinner that night, I'm like, already at 22 hours. I mean, I'm already at like two hours of no wear time and your goal is to wear them for 22 hours a day. Sorry. So yeah, I think that the timer in the app is actually kind of helpful. I wish it was a little bit better because if I forgot to turn it off and I caught myself like immediately, like it's been 20 minutes and I've had them back in and I realized I didn't stop the timer. You can't edit the time until the next day and I keep forgetting to do it. So my times overall are not really accurate, but they're pretty accurate. So I guess it's good enough. More than anything, it just kind of reminds me to put them back in and like get around in the morning when I'm feeling all slow. I would say my pain with the first tray didn't really start until, like I said, we were busy on Friday night. I got them on a Thursday and then on probably Saturday night, Sunday, I was pretty sore, especially down here. And these you know, pretty much like your biting teeth, which I know makes sense because that's where my main issue is, is down here. So when I would take the liners on and off, I would feel like it kind of hurt to put them on or when I took it off, it would hurt a little. And yeah, that's partly why the first few days had me feeling so just overwhelmed. It was really manageable and it went away within, I would say by day five, maybe day four. I wasn't, I don't remember exactly. They were not hurting most of the time at all. And definitely after about a week, I wasn't really feeling that same tight feeling when I would be putting the liners on. I'm sure they're still working at that point, but the first week is definitely more difficult than the second week, if that makes sense. The main reason I think it was really hard for me to adapt to this is because I didn't realize that my actual bite would change just from putting the buttons on and from this immediate first step. What's happening to me is the molars aren't really getting adjusted. They don't really move that well for adults unless you do the full on braces orthodontics anyway, which I don't really need them to be moved. They're not crowded or anything. So that's one reason why I can do Invisalign. But the front teeth on the bottom have buttons like up to this point, like these ones, weird faces. So what's happening is this one that they've attached to, for some reason, my upper teeth tend to kind of land differently on this tooth now. So especially the first couple of days of the buttons being on, I was like, okay, I don't have the trays in and I still feel like I can't eat anything because I, my back teeth don't like chew 100% of the way. They're like really close, but they're definitely not like touching all the way. So certain things have proven to be more challenging to eat than I had planned on. I guess when you first hear about this, you think like, okay, well, I'll just take them out. I'll eat whatever I want and then I'll put them back in. But actually, it has been a little difficult for me to chew certain things. Um, last night I noticed, like or two nights ago, we had like a stir fry with cabbage in it and the cabbage was, you know, still slightly crisp the way that I like to eat it, but it had been cooked pretty well. And I noticed that I was having a hard time actually like fully chewing it. That was definitely more of a problem in the first week because you're just getting used to it on top of all the other things you're getting used to. I've been, you know, I, I've eaten a variety of things since then. I wouldn't say... All of them were a great idea. I could probably do a list of things that were not great that I chose to eat before I randomly go off about food just to make sure I've covered all of my points for that first few days. It's gonna hurt more than you want it to for sure. I'm almost guaranteeing that if you've never worn them before. The first few days, your mouth is also maybe gonna have a few sore spots in it that do go away if you are keep if you keep wearing the trays. The bite of in your mouth might change a little bit, maybe more or less than mine, I don't know. On top of having your teeth be kind of sore so you don't wanna like bite into tough things, like definitely don't plan on eating steak, for example. I don't think that would be a good idea. You definitely want to get a different liner removal tool than what, it, unless your dentist gives you a really nice one because the first four days or so that I had it in there, I ended up having to use my thumbnails 
which I mean maybe you're fine with that but I do paint my nails so I noticed this thumb especially the polish was just like destroyed way faster than usual because I was just like using it even if I was being careful just using it for any tool purpose at all which is not great for your nails yeah you could definitely tell and it's my right hand and it already chips there more easily so this thumb looked like a total train wreck while I was working on a lot of my videos of that around that time unfortunately getting the pull tool was definitely like 10,000 times better and it kind of annoys me that I had to buy it separately, but it was it was definitely worth it. I guess the only other thing that I've that I wrote down to mention is I do feel like the top tray kind of collects stuff more than the bottom one. I hadn't considered that at all, but it makes sense because it's kind of like a bucket up there so it's gonna hold more like it would hold more of your saliva, for example, but you don't really notice that. What became annoying for me is after I washed them, if there was any water left in the tray, I had to get a little, like a little teeny piece of like something lint-free to dry it out with because otherwise I felt like I was aware of this like water buildup in the top tray, which was really annoying. I kind of wish there were some like really little holes they had added in to the top teeth just to kind of help the tray not hold on to stuff as well. I mean, I don't feel like I'm asking for too much with that, but I don't really know the the engineering skill required to make these anyway. They're not so stiff that you can't, like when you're washing them, they're like bending in your hand, you know? So it's not like that stiff. At the same time, when you put them on your teeth, you definitely feel like something is pushing on my teeth. I don't know. I just wish the top tray didn't like hold on to water as much because that whole process just takes a little bit longer now having to kind of dry it out before I go on. And I think I'm also going to look up like what's the recommended way to actually wash them every day because what I've been doing has been working. I've just been using a toothbrush and some gentle soap, but I feel like there's probably a better way. There's like tools and tips for everything these days. So I'm going to look into that and see if I can get a little bit better, mostly to speed up the process, but also just because I want them to be actually clean. So other than that, probably I think a sun I think it was Sunday that I was feeling feeling just really like, oh my god, like I was overwhelmed by the whole, the length of the project and how long this is going to take and it was only like day three and I have until sometime in June to be wearing them. I was definitely feeling overwhelmed, but other than that, I haven't really had any major problems or anything to that effect. It's been okay once I got through those first few days. Some of it was a little bit easier for me to cope with because I did go on Reddit and I was like reading what other people had gone through and I was like, okay, especially the bite thing because I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to like take a bite of something normally at all. Like I didn't realize that. I mentioned it when I was in the dentist office. I was like, this tooth is like hitting first now and they were like, oh, it's hitting a button. They didn't adjust it and they didn't mention like if that would change. I feel like it actually has changed a little bit, but I also acknowledge that's probably my imagination. It's only been two weeks. I don't think that's enough time for the tooth to have moved drastically. I know it's not enough time for a drastic movement. I guess it's possible that a really small movement has somehow been enough to start changing it. I don't know. Yeah, going on Reddit was kind of helpful because I just saw what other people were going through and that a lot of other people were saying that it didn't last that long and it would be okay. It seems like a lot of people say certain trays like hurt them more than others. Like some guy was like number four, number 12 for the worst. I don't know why. So I guess it's going to be different every time. We'll have to see how it goes. I think I've covered everything. I am going to link to the pull tool that I bought on Amazon in the description of the video because it's like so much better. I don't want to like demonstrate taking the trays in and out on camera because you have saliva in your mouth all the time and if you take one out it's very gross looking even though it's actually not dirty it's just gross looking for a video so I'm not going to demonstrate it I'm sure there's someone online who did that I don't want to but I will link to that I definitely recommend that and just make sure you're prepared to kind of eat more softer foods the first few days because your your mouth is going to be actually kind of sore beyond that I wouldn't meal plan ahead of time too far because if your bite is affected by having the buttons put on you might be in for a little bit of a surprise but I, I think I don't know I've gotten kind of used to it I guess so it could be worse. I did have a button come off and I need to call the dentist and tell them that 
I have not yet. I probably should do that today. They also told me I have more than most people. I have 17 buttons apparently, which is so many. So I feel like there's still plenty of support going on, but I know I should call them and let them know. This tray I'm actually due to change on Thanksgiving, but my dentist doesn't give you more than your first two sets of trays up front. So I can't change it until I go to the dentist the following Monday after Thanksgiving. I probably won't really post a video about this until at some point after Thanksgiving. Hopefully nothing crazy happens during these next 17 days or something, whatever it comes out to. Yeah, I guess if anything happens, I'll record a little update that I will release at some point after Thanksgiving. But otherwise, with any luck, no big new surprises or changes, and this video will be kind of the one where I talk about the pain level and stuff. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. If you watch this to the end, I hope that it's helpful to somebody out there. And yeah, check out the description. I'll link to the remover that helped me a lot. I still need to buy another case. If I buy one, I guess I could talk about that too, because it doesn't have room in it for the remover and the liner. So if you're eating out, like you kind of have to leave it slightly open. But anyway, I'll deal with that at some point in the next few weeks here. So whatever you say to end a video, put that in here. Oh, thanks to my Kofi supporters again, of course. Um, there's only a couple of you right now, but I want to thank you in every video that I make. Thanks everybody.